Gemini 2.0, new AI from Google that blows my mind. Hey guys, my name is Vlad, and in today's video, we're going to talk about this cool AI from Google. It's mind blowing, and I recommend you watch this video till the end because you will see how it could be helpful and what you can achieve by using this AI. If you are ready, then let's get started. About a week ago, Google announced Gemini 2.0. It's a Google's new AI model. And this model is incredible. Gemini 2.0 designed to be more agentic. It means it can understand its surrounding better. Uh, it could take action on your behave with guidance. And it has multimodal functionality. It means it support input from uh, text, images, video, and audio. Google said it's fast and really efficient. And in today's video, I'll show you some demo how I use this model. I'm going to stream my audio and video and we'll talk with Gemini. And you will see how well it understands everything. To get started, go to aistudio.google.com website, log in there with your Google account if you haven't yet. Then at the left sidebar, select stream real time. And then here you will be able to select different options. You can talk to Gemini, you can show your camera, or you can share your screen. At the right hand side, you can select the model, output format, and voice. In my instance, I'm going to use the audio output, but you can select the text as well. If you select output as a text format, you will be able to see the code. If you select output as an audio, then you won't be able to see the code if you ask a question related to code. Once you set all the settings, then you can start stream your audio. You can press the link Talk to Gemini or this small icon Start Recording. Hey, hi, how is it going? It's going well, thanks for asking. How about you? I am doing pretty well, so uh, I would like you help me today with something. Sure, I can help with that. What do you need help with today? Uh, I'm planning to write some Python simple code. Could you please help me to check my syntax or even help me to learn something from my writing? Yes, I can definitely help you with that. I can check your Python syntax and provide feedback to help you learn. Do you have some code you'd like me to look at? Okay, let me write it down quickly. Sounds good take your time i'll be here when you're ready just let me know when you have the code you want me to uh okay and i see the code yeah i send you the code i see that you have defined a function named func that takes one argument a a and it returns a plus b however the variable b has not been defined this will cause an error when the function is called did you want to define b uh could you please suggest me the better version sure I can suggest a better version. Do you want B to be a constant value or another parameter for the function? Uh, let's do it as another parameter for the function. Okay, if you want B to be another parameter for the function, you should add it to the function's definition. Here's the modified code. Def func A B. Return a plus B. This way, the function will take two arguments, A and B, and return their sum. Does that make sense? Yes, it does, but could you write it down? Okay, here is the code. Def func a b return a plus b. This should now work as you intended. Is there anything else I can help you with? I want you to write it down on the screen so I can copy it and paste to my uh, ID. I understand, but I can't directly write on the screen. However, you can copy the code from my text response. Would you like me to repeat the code again so it's easy for you to copy? Yes. Okay, the code is def func a b return a plus b. Just copy and paste this into your IDE. Let me know if you need anything else. What do you see on my screen now? I am a tech a bottle, so I don't have access to your screen or camera. I cannot see what is on your screen right now. If you describe what you're seeing or have code you want me to review, I can definitely help with that. Oh, wow. Well, now, do you see my screen? Okay. I see that you have a code Tyler on the left side. Looks like you have a few files there. 
a markdown file called grok dash two dash how dash to dash dead dash started dash with dash elon dash musk dash ai dash free dot md. There's also a pop up message about an available update. Do you want to discuss anything about this specifically? I see the markdown file you have open. It seems like you're writing a guide on how to use Gronk AI. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. It looks like you have a good start on the guide. Is there anything specific about it that you would like to discuss? Or do you need help with something else related to the code editor or the markdown file? Yeah, what do you think? Is, is there anything else I could add inside this article about Grok? I can give you some ideas of what you can add to your article about Grok. You can include a section on practical use cases of Grok, like how it can be used for specific tasks. You could also compare and contrast Grok with other AI models. Okay, cool. And how about my English? Is it good enough? How about grammar in this case? English is very clear, and I'm able to understand you well. As for grammar, I don't see any major issues. There are a few instances where you've used slightly informal language. But for a guide or blog post, it's perfectly fine. It's all quite clear, and I think it is more than good enough to be understood. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Is there anything else I can help you with today? Uh, what operation system am I using right now? Currently interacting with Gemini, a large language model created by Google. Uh, how about my computer? What operation system on my computer? Based on the visual information in the video, it appears you're using Mac OS. I see. Okay. And how about this IDE that okay. I showed you? Okay. You want to know by IDE you're using? Based on what I see on the screen, it looks like you're using Visual Studio Code, also known as Versus Code. Is there anything specific you want to know about it? No, thanks. And can you speak Russian? I understand. In the topics. While I can't speak Russian fluently, I can process and understand some Russian text, but I will always respond in English. Is there anything else I can assist you with right now? No, that's it. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. That's it. As you could see, this AI is really powerful. There's a lot of things you can do with it. Of course, there is a pros and cons. However, I recommend you give it a shot and share with me your feedback and comments below. Thank you so much for you watching this video till the end. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. If you haven't clicked like for this video yet, please click like. And I hope to see you in my next videos. Bye.